Just 60% of Cameroonians have access to electricity, according to the International Finance Corporation, or IFC. But Cameroon is hoping that this giant hydroelectric dam will change all that. When it is completed, the Nashtigal Dam should provide 420 megawatts of power for the country. We have a satisfactory level of progress with a completion rate of around 60%. The work includes seven machines which should go into production no later than the end of 2024, with the first machine which should, in principle, go into production in December 2023. Households in at least seven out of Cameroon's ten regions will receive energy from the Nashtagal Dam. It's a massive project employing nearly 1,500 workers. At the level of the main dam upstream, on a dam which is 1,450 meters long, from left bank to right bank, we have now reached out about 1,000 meters. The canal, which is 3,300 meters long, all in beauty made concrete, it is watertight. It is a unique project in Central Africa. Once the units and turbines are installed, the commissioning tests are scheduled for June 2023, and tests on the dam's strength will begin in 2024. Cameroon and national and international banks are shareholders in the project. The European Investment Bank, a pioneer in the financing of renewable energies in the world, injected 50 million euros into the dam's construction. This project in Nachtigal will provide uh, 6 million people, Cameroonians, with renewable energy for decades to come. And that, I think, is, uh, is very, very important. As the European Union's Climate Bank, we are happy to be partners with Cameroonian authorities in this important project. The project also received financial support from the European Union as part of its green energy initiatives. It is really nice to see how you exploit this natural resource which will give you a competitive advantage in the sub-region and on the continent. And there's more hydroelectric energy potential in Cameroon. The IFC estimates the country has the third largest hydropower potential on the continent. For Emmanuel Jules Ntap in Nashtigal, Cameroon, Carol Gunsberg, VOA News.